everyone, welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's video, I wanna walk you through my free Procreate lettering guides, how to download them and how to use them since there's quite a few of them. I've got 10 of them right here, five of them are unique and those same five are available as italic lettering guides. So first you need to go and download them. I've listed a link in the video description where you can go and grab them. And once you hit the download link there, you should see a page that looks similar to this. And if you do, all you wanna do is hit this export icon up here, tap it and then slide this over and you should see a copy to Procreate icon. So you're just gonna tap on that and then it will open up your lettering guides. And if you need to reference this file in the future, all you have to do is tap on gallery up here and you can see it's a Procreate file that's listed with all of your other Procreate files right up here. So just tap on that file whenever you need it. All right, so this one Procreate file has all those different lettering guides included in it. So I wanna walk you through how to use them because it might be a little confusing, especially if you are a newer Procreate user. So you can find Find all of your guides by tapping on your layers icon up here and you can see there's a bunch of groups right here all the groups are labeled so you'll know what type of guide you're using if you also wonder about it ever all you have to do is look down here and I've listed the type of guide each one of these is right in the bottom right corner so right here this is your standard guide and what you want to do is just toggle it down and you can see you've got the guide layer and then you've got another layer right above it that's called letter on this layer. So you're gonna tap on that and that's where you're going to put your lettering. These guides have a baseline, an X height, a cap height, a sender height, and descender guide for all of your lettering. And the way you wanna use it is for your baseline, all of your letters sit on your baseline. So if I draw a lowercase a right here, you can see that the X height is the height of the A. It's also the height of a lowercase X. That's where it gets its name. And then the rest of the letter kind of sits on the baseline. If you have a letter that extends beyond the X height, like a lowercase B, that would come all the way up to the A center line and then finish off on the baseline with a portion extending up to your X height. So you can see that line, that A center hits the A center height. If you have a lowercase character that extends beneath the baseline, that will be your D center line. So a lowercase G, for example, will come all the way down here. And then obviously for your cap height, that's where your uppercase characters will sit right there. So that's how to use your guide. So all these guides have variations of where these guidelines hit, whether or not you have a, a lower X height or a taller X height or a taller A sender height, or if your D sender guide goes a bit lower to give a more exaggerated feel to your A senders and your D senders. So there's a bunch of different ones. They're all labeled right here. And then each group right beneath it is the exact same guide, only the italic version of that guide. So if I turn off this group right here, I'm just going to tap on this check mark and that toggles off the visibility, and then I can collapse it back down just by hitting this little carrot right here. And then I can turn on my next group, which is standard italic guides. It's the exact same guides, only the italic version. So I'm gonna tap on this checkbox right here and that will turn it on. I need to toggle this down and select this layer because this is the layer that you wanna letter on. And now for the italic guides, what you wanna do is just follow the angle that we have right here as a guide. And this will give you that italic effect. So for a lowercase a, you can see it's more of an angle or italics. You don't always have to keep the spacing uniform for all of your letters. That would probably drive anyone crazy. So whenever you're lettering between these two lines, you just wanna make sure any lines you draw follow it in a parallel fashion. So if I have a lowercase p here, for example, you can see I try to maintain the exact same distance all the way down to this guideline, and then I can bring it around. So that's how to use the italic grid. And if you ever want to see or preview your lettering without the grid, all you need to do is come over to your layers and turn off the visibility of your guide. So I can just uncheck this and you can see what your lettering looks like without the guide. If you filled up the entire layer right here, say I've lettered across all of these lines for my different guides and I've run out of space but I wanna reuse this guide, all you have to do is create a new layer right on top of this layer. So hit the plus icon, you've got a new layer right here and you're just going to turn off the visibility of this lettering layer and now you can start lettering all over again using the exact same guide. If you letter directly on this guide, you wouldn't ever be able to preview your lettering separate from the guide, it would be attached to the guide. So this allows you to use the guide an endless amount of times just by adding a new layer right on top of it and just changing your visibility for whatever layer you need. So I'm going to delete this layer, 
I'm going to clear this layer. So tap on it and choose clear to get rid of the contents on it. And now I can just toggle this up. So you can see I've got taller X height guides. You can kind of see how that compares to the original. This X height line moves as I do that. And then I've got a shorter X height guide, a taller A center and D center, and then an extra tall A center and D center. And once again, the groups right beneath them are the exact same guides, only the italicized version of that guide. All right, so that is how to use these guides. I'm gonna clear this layer too. So just tap on it and choose clear. And now you are all set to go. So by default, the standard guide is turned on. So remember, you can just turn on and off the visibility right here and just make sure that you're lettering on that blank lettering layer and not directly on top of your guide. So that is how to use these free Procreate lettering guides. I've left a link in the video description so you can go and grab your own. If you are not a Procreate user yet, I also have a link to a printable version of all these guides so you can use them with tracing paper or on a light box if you'd like. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and make sure you hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future Procreate lettering tutorials just like this one. You can also find me over on my website every-tuesday.com for even more design and lettering tutorials and freebies. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.